everybody talks about the BMW, Tesla, you know, competitive, you know, California sales showdown. Um, is this going to go up against a Model S, you think? I think BMW, a real BMW doesn't compare to, to any other brand. And that is where electromobility actually comes to the heart of our brand of BMW. And that is the first real dynamic car uh, from, from BMW. So any comparison, I think, wouldn't give the right, right message. First of all, it has an acceleration of uh, only four seconds to 100 uh, kilometers per hour. It has a range of 600 kilometers. That's amazing. And of course, it looks like a, re uh, a real BMW, and that's what we are particularly proud of. The range, I think, has been the hardest to nail, but it's also got, I think, 500 horsepower, right? How do you, as an engineer, how do you achieve that? Because other German car makers have not been able to achieve that. You know, we started our first car, the i3, in 2013. And that's where we started to ponder what is the future going to look like. And we, we, we thought our architectures have to be able to be flexible enough to cater for electromobility and at the same time for combustion engine. And that is the, that's the result of our thinking about this. So you don't think pure electric cars are the future? Necessarily, I think you know. You know, the world mobility market is highly fragmented. There will be specific niches where you can have only electric cars. But I think for us at BMW, where you need all the driving dynamics, which is much, much more than only the actual um, engine in the car, I think this is the right answer for us. But there might be other segments where we only, where we only have uh, purely electric um, architectures. But I I am a motorcycle rider. I love the 1.8 liter uh, R18 that you're coming out with. Are you going to have an electric motorcycle, you think, on the market in the next two or three years? We, there are no decision on, on that yet. But of course, we have prototypes. We are trying with it. But motorcycles is a different market segment than cars. I think electromobility has fully arrived in the car market. Almost everybody's working on it now. And we already sold more than 140,000 electrified vehicles last year in 2019, and we will accelerate that, that expansion of our range now. Initial investment is obviously huge when you're starting any new model. You've already um, done a lot of investment in electric uh, production. Will the costs after that start to sink? I mean, you need fewer parts in an electric motor. I'm, I'm not so sure that the overall complexity of the car is really diminished. You know, there are so many other components in the car. And of course, uh, to have flexible architectures which we can produce in the same plant as the other engines gives us a huge advantage over the competition. And that's what they are thriving on. What about the headcount? I mean, a lot of your competitors have already started reducing headcount pretty uh, substantially. And you have yet to do that. Are you going, do you need to keep up to catch up with them? First of all, BMW is a growing brand. So we need our people, our workforce, uh, for our growing strategy. And of course, we have started to invest much more heavily, much more in depth into electromobility. So there's no need for us to reduce our headcount. 